beautiful baby in 2001. Um, she met all of her milestones on time. She was epileptic. We knew that pretty early on. Um, but it did not hinder her development. She cooed and babbled, interacted. There was nothing to indicate that she had any delays. We had a movement disorder. The doctor said it was myoclonic. Um, we had seizures, but didn't hinder her development. She rolled over one day before she turned three months old. She was amazing, and <laughs> look how happy she was. She's so proud of herself. We were so proud of her, such a beautiful child. She had no food aversions. She ate anything that we put in front of her. Spaghetti, stew, as she got older, it didn't matter. She was a good eater. She had a, a food friend. <laughs> she, was, she was walking at 10 months. This was her first birthday. Um, all milestones had been met. We honestly believed that we were the parents of, uh, of a little Einstein. She had just met all of her milestones very early. And such an easy child. She was always happy. She always interacted. She wanted the camera. <laughs> That's what she's trying to do is take the camera away from me. And now she's going to go chase our, our little dog. That was the highlight of our day, was watching her chase after Blackberry. Um, here she is, only 14 months old, but she just would babble and coo and converse in her language. We had no indicator. Mm, good like. She wasn't but 16 months old. She ran. And then it happened. A few days before she turned two, she started spinning. She became nonverbal. She pulled out her eyelashes. She pinched herself. She bit herself. She ran. She didn't sleep much at all. It was an extremely challenging time. We were very frightened. This is our child. We love her. She was 100% nonverbal. She did have a high pitched screech. She would spin, if she'd get tired, she would spin on the floor. There she is pinching her cheeks. We didn't understand. How could we have a daughter that was so healthy and interacting and all of her milestones met to having lost so much? And in the course of just a matter of hours, went to bed one night and she woke up and it was, it was gone. And she ran. She ran. She stood on her head. We, um, we'd never heard of anything like this happening. We didn't really know what autism was, despite our education and our standard of living. <laughs> we didn't know. We fast learn. Autism causes you to grieve. You lost the child you had. All autistic parents need love and kindness and support. And then we had a recovery. Can you say tickle toes? Can you say, how about say, pickles? How about Winnie Pooh? Oh, Winnie Pooh, yes. 
Okay, how about Bo Back? Bo Back! How about Who is that? Ah, Boots! Is that Boots? Very good! Who's that? Ah, Dora! Very good. That's it. Try it. Go. Dora. We weren't going to let autism win. We were determined with therapies and education and the tools at hand that we would overcome. Now, who is this? Swiper. That's right. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no. And she worked hard. Very good. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. She still had her own language. Okay. Oh man, that's what he says. That's right. And what does Boots say? Can you tell me what Boots says? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. No, no, you don't have to be sorry, baby. That's eight, eight, nine. We were still dealing with Korea, a movement disorder. By the age of four, she had recovered. Recording. Go ahead. She sang in church. She danced. She talked well. She was near typical. She was climbing trees, jumping on the trampoline, swimming in the pool. She played soccer for three years, baseball for three years. She did well, <laughs> very well. And we were on the sideline cheering her on. So beautiful. We had no idea what was going to happen. We had recovered from autism. We'd made it. We were one of those rare ones. We had some behaviors, but everything was on task. We'd been released from speech therapy. We were the winners, and we still had dystonia. But this has changed. And then this. How happened. old are you, Amy? I'm trying to get this out, Mom. Okay. How old are you, Amy? No. You think you don't know? And the seizures. Dementia, seizures, posturing, no diagnosis. There really wasn't any testing. We weren't pushing for any. We were told it was Lennox Gastaut syndrome. We had, this is an atypical absence seizure. She was struggling to stay awake. She slept 
once for almost continuously for a month. She lost half of her body weight. We had to have the G-tube put in. Um, she just struggled so hard. We had partial complex seizures, absence, atypical absence, atonic, and of course tonic-clonic, and what the doctors would call non-convulsive status epilepticus. Those episodes would wind us up in the hospital. Here's a drop seizure. She's fixing to lose tone. Grover kept her from falling. Autonomic dysfunction. We didn't know what that was, and we'd learn. Also known as dysautonomia. This is a non-convulsive status epilepticus. Um, they would go on for hours. We had the vagal nerve stimulator placed. It did no good. We saw no improvement with it. Um, here's that right after that. Uh, having a partial complex. My poor baby. My poor little girl. Rather partial. Um, these would rule the day. Camcorders, you could tape it for the doctor and email it to him. In the car, in the park, at school, on the bus. They didn't discriminate where they happened. Um, even in sleep, they were vicious, unrelenting, doing their damage. Todd's paralysis would leave her like that. This is dystonia and dysautonomia. We'd wind up in the hospital because she can't maintain her blood pressure. She would have times that she'd just be stuck. It's... Yes, she might. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. The long thing on top looks a little scary, but I can put my foot under it right there. Can you help me get over there on the other one? No. And you can <laughs> see play. the I'm absence not getting on seizure that was quick. And like I said, dystonia could happen anywhere. On the stairwells. At home. It's horrible. It's a horrible thing. Here she is having another atypical absence seizure. Her pupils are huge. She's non-responsive. Um, I'll never get used to the seizures, all types. They, they all make me frightened because they can all evolve into something worse. We've had her vomit and have to do the finger sweep to clear her airway. And we've had to do rescue breaths. And we've had her medevaced. Um, to a children's hospital. It's um, it's beyond words to explain. This is ocular motor apraxia. Her eyes will bounce more so when she's tired. We knew this wasn't autism any longer, but we were still waiting on the recovery to happen. Here is dystonia happens in sleep. This is focal dystonia. We'd never heard of that. Um, we were waiting on the recovery. We had had one before and from autism and she'd gotten well. We just assumed that this too should get well if we could get diagnosed. At this point everything was so bad we were packed up and moved. Enjoy the cake. I bet they will. You think so? Yeah. Because they, because you, they, de uh, because that lady decorated it. That's right, she did. How good do you think it will look like? I think it's going to be beautiful, just like you. Uh oh, I'm going to okay. fall again. Don't fall. <laughs> good thing I have a mama. It's a good thing you have a mama. <laughs> It's a good thing I have a little girl, because otherwise I wouldn't have a birthday today. Uh, that's right, and that's how old you are, isn't it? Uh-huh. I, oh, I remember Tristan is 11 now. 
He is. Yes. Now that we, uh, me, uh, is eleven. Tristan is eleven. That's right. So good. Happy birthday, Princess Amy. Say happy birthday, Mama. And she had an excellent <laughs> seizure watch. Girl. It's your birthday, mm -hmm. At this point, she wasn't running anymore. She was she was trying to skip. Of all the babies in uh, uh, um, uh, um classroom, mm -hmm. this is Applejack. Mm -hmm. He is the big sister of uh, uh, Applejack. Mm -hmm. I don't have her yes, yet. I only have the uh, the um, uh, um, the daddy one. There was atrophy. Her left leg wasn't growing like the right. It still isn't. Um. <laughs> it's <One>. okay. <laughs> okay. How old are you? Okay, you can be eight today. I'm cool. Okay, nine. <laughs> if you don't know, Amy, it's okay to say, I don't know, Mom. I can't remember. Mom, can you make me remember? Can I make you remember, Amy? You're 11 years old, darling. 11. We had posturing, dementia. The dementia was horrible. Falling. She was getting more and more clumsy. She needed support a lot of support. She would even fall in the chair and now we have the Hensinger collar to hold her head up. Yesterday, uh, wait, 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 you're talking to Nana. Hi Nana, this is the Amy. Um, I can uh, make you a a picture. You can take a make her a picture, draw a picture on your new tray. I was about to say that. That's what you were trying to say, I know. Yes, you can. <laughs> Aww. We thought her, bat, her walk was bad in September of 2012. <laughs> we, didn't, we, we didn't know it was going to get worse. We were still waiting on the recovery. She recovered before. We just thought for sure it would happen. She was waddling. Here she would fall. She was so slow. So, so slow. Just needed all kinds of support. And of course now, this was six months ago, and now we have today. Thank you for watching and for supporting us. There's been a lot of special needs moms out there supporting me personally as we've gone into this disease. Amy has a neurodegenerative brain disease. Her brain has atrophy. Thank you again.